Today on our 2018 Ram 2500, we're going to be installing the custom underbed installation kit for fifth wheel trailer hitches. Part number BWGNRK1384-5W. This fifth wheel installation kit is designed to let you install your B&W Companion fifth wheel trailer hitches. The adapters are part numbers BWRVK3500 or part number BWRVK3400. The underbed design of the kit allows for full truck bed access and when you're ready, it's under five minutes to convert your empty truck bed into a fifth wheel hitch. We'll start off by unlocking our B&W hitch and installing our fifth wheel adapter. We have ours pre-assembled, but you can adjust the uprights here depending on your truck and trailer combinations. At this point, the hitch is ready to attach to a trailer. There's a little clip here that you release, basically it's a safety pin. Then you swing the handle out and you can watch the jaws open. You're ready to back up onto your trailer. Once you're secure onto your trailer, you can reinstall the clip. And since the fifth wheel installation kit doubles as a gooseneck hitch, when you're not towing your fifth wheel, you can remove it. This frees up the hole to reinsert the hitch ball when you need it. Now if you're trying to decide between a gooseneck or a bumper style trailer hitch, some of the main differences are that all the weight is going to be on the back of your vehicle on your bumper style trailer hitch. This is going to produce more sway on your trailer hauling it behind you, and it's going to cause more oscillations in the back of your vehicle. But your gooseneck on the other hand is going to position all the weight over your rear axle. So this is going to reduce a lot of sway on your vehicle and trailer, it's going to allow for tighter turning radiuses, and it's going to allow you to haul greater capacities. So you'll be able to have a longer, heavier load in the back end. This is great for living quarters and other things. To begin our installation, we're going to need to make a few preparations. Get your spare tire out of the way if it's installed, and then we're going to get this heat shield out of the way so we have better access to start drilling for our gooseneck. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the three bolts on your heat shield here. And the two bolts located on the other side of the heat shield here. And just set this aside. We're gonna go ahead and put a strap in place so we can lower our exhaust out of our way. This will catch the exhaust to prevent any damage happening while lowering it. Go ahead and spray the hanger down with some lubricant. This will make it easier to come off and just pry it out of the way. Now that we've got our heat shield out of the way, we can easily access the location we're gonna be drilling for our gooseneck. Go ahead and take the template that comes in your kit, put it in the hole, and mark the middle. If you have a center punch that'll fit in the hole, you can go ahead and punch it now. If not, you may need to mark it with something else so that you can punch it later. Now that we've made our mark where to drill, we're gonna go ahead and use a center punch to ping that to make it easier when drilling. Now that we've got our center punch, we're gonna make a pilot hole using a quarter inch drill bit. Now that we've got our pilot hole drilled, we're gonna use a three and a half inch hole saw to allow the opening for our gooseneck to stick to our bed. Now that we've got our hole drilled, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up here. So grab a shot back and just get all that out of there. Now that we've got everything cleaned up, we're gonna go back with some protective coating. You can use some gloss enamel just to prevent any rust in the future. Next, we're gonna take our plastic spacer and we're gonna put it between our frame here and our bed. We're gonna need to come around up top, slide it over, and push it in there. Now, it might be necessary for you to use a screwdriver or other small tool to finish pushing it into place. Go ahead and get this centered. And now our spacer is properly in place. Next, we're going to put our weld nuts into place. Use the angled handle to slide it up in there. You might have to tweak the fender a little bit to get it to go all the way. Now that you've got your handle in there, you want to go ahead and line up your nuts with your holes. You can use the screwdriver here to help center everything. You want the outsides to line up. Now on our driver's side, it's gonna be the same process, but you're gonna have a harness in the way. 
Now just take a screwdriver or body panel removal tool and pop these harness clips up out of the way so you can get your weld nuts in place. Now with our harness moved out of the way, we can slide our weld nuts in just like we did on the other side. Might have to move the fender out of the way a little bit. And again, center your weld nuts with the holes in the frame here. This is a good time to grab your harness and pull it back down and clip it into place. Now we can go ahead and put our gooseneck up into place. Make sure that when you're putting it up, the hole is towards the front of the vehicle and the handle is on the driver's side. Now you'll take your large hex head bolts included in your kit, line it up with the hole in your weld nuts and go ahead and get it started. Once you get one started, that'll hold that up and then you can move on to your next bolt. Now you wanna go back and snug your bolts up. You don't wanna have them all the way tight. You wanna have a little bit of play because we need to make sure that we're centered within our hole. You measure the distance between your center section and your frame. We're gonna go ahead and use the spring here and make sure it's the same on both the passenger and driver's side. And then you'll make any adjustments pushing it left or right as necessary. Now that we've got everything centered, go back and tighten them all the way down. With everything snugged up, go back and torque them to the specifications in your instructions. Next, we're gonna be installing our handle. Take your carriage bolts and slide them through the release mechanism on the center carriage. Then take your handle, slide it up over the fuel tank, up over your frame, slide it on your carriage bolts, and start your nuts. These are gonna be the flanged lock nuts in your kit. There'll be two of them. Go back and tighten on your bolts using a 9 16th socket. Then go back and torque your bolts for the specifications in your instructions. We're gonna drill out our safety chain mount locations now. Make sure that your pin is engaged and then insert your ball mount. This way your ball mount will stay raised up as it sits on the pin. We're gonna use that with our template provided as a guide. Go ahead and slide that down over it. And then refer to your vehicle in the gooseneck kit that you're installing to find the appropriate holes. Ours is 1384, so we'll be using these holes. Go ahead and mark your holes. And then again, use your center punch to make sure you drill straight. Now we can drill out our holes. We're gonna be drilling it to a half inch. However, I'm gonna start with a quarter inch hole as a pilot hole to make it easier to drill through. Then we'll step it up to half inch. A little lubrication makes the drilling process faster. You need to drill all the way through. And repeat this for your remaining holes. With all of our pilot holes drilled, we'll now step it up to half inch. And repeat that for your remaining holes. Now that we've got all our holes drilled, we'll go back and clean them up. Now you want to go back and use some black gloss spray paint to prevent any rust and corrosion from occurring in the future. With it being about a half inch diameter, you can poke your finger through a napkin and that'll make a pretty good template to keep the paint right on where you drilled. Now with our holes painted over and drilled, we can slide our U-bolts down. and we'll be attaching them underneath. Now that we've got our U-bolts passed through our bed, we're gonna take our four springs included, take one of them with the wider side towards the top, slide it over your U-bolt, and then install your nut. Do this for the remaining three locations. Tighten them down using a three-quarter inch socket. Now with all your hardware loosely installed, you're gonna go back and tighten it up using a three-quarter inch socket until your nut is flush with the bottom of your U-bolt. Do that for the remaining bolts. 
Now we just need to put our handle sticker in place. Use a little bit of alcohol and a cloth to clean off your frame here, so that way the adhesive will stick well. And then just place your sticker below your handle. Now that our hitch is fully installed, we're ready to reassemble our components we removed earlier. So we'll put our exhaust back up and our exhaust heat shield back on. Then put your spare tire back up and reinstallation is complete. Slide your ball mount in and re-engage the pin and you're ready to go. And that completes our installation of the custom underbed installation kit for BMW Companion 5th Wheel Trailer Hitches, part number BWGNRK1384 5W. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.